Hello everybody, this is Mr. Chi, and in this video I'm going to talk about a grammar item that we frequently come across in our daily life, and that is gerunds and infinitives. Have you ever heard about gerunds and infinitives? Do you have any ideas about these two terms? Maybe we can first talk about gerunds. So what is a gerund then? A gerund is a verb ending in ing that behaves like a noun. For example, take a look at the two sentences. I swim every day. I like swimming. For the first sentence, the swim is the main verb of the sentence. But for the second sentence, the word swimming is not the main verb of the sentence. The word like is the main verb of this sentence. So the word swimming here is actually an object. It functions as an object in this sentence. And it is a gerund actually. So what about an infinitive? What is an infinitive? An infinitive or infinitives can be classified into two types two infinitives and bare infinitives. And in this video, I'm going to focus on two infinitives. So a two infinitive is in the form of two plus base form of a verb. So take a look at some examples here. I go to swim. They ask us to leave. We always say that gerunds and infinitives behave like nouns, but how do they behave like nouns actually? Let's take a look at sentence A and B first. For sentence B, my father asked me a question. My father here is a subject of the sentence. Ask is a verb. Me is an indirect object, and a question is the direct object of the sentence and it takes the form of a noun and when you're comparing sentence A and B you can easily find out that the two sentences have the same structure actually and that's why you can also deduce that the sentence A with a to infinitive to phone him the to infinitive behave like nouns. What about sentence C and D? Let's look at sentence D first. I enjoyed the conversation with my father. The conversation in sentence D is a direct object and it takes the form of a noun. And when you're comparing sentence C and D, both of them actually have the same structure. So we can also deduce that the infinitive talking in sentence C behave like nouns. And gerunds and infinitives are also similar in the sense that they can both function as a subject, a complement, or object of a sentence. So, when should we use gerunds, or when should we use infinitives? Can we use both of them interchangeably? And the answer is yes, but for only for some times, because there are only some verbs that take gerunds only. For example, the, word, the verb avoid only takes gerunds. And so we must say, let's avoid being late, instead of let's avoid to be late. There are also some verbs that only take infinitives only. For example, the verb agree. We must say, they agreed to give him a try, instead of they agreed giving him a try. There are also some verbs that takes both gerunds 
and infinitives. For example, you can say "I love riding horses," or you can say "I love to ride horses." But for these verbs, the verbs that I just mentioned that take both gerunds and infinitives, are they interchangeable when we use them? The answer is yes or no, because for some verbs, when you are taking either to infinitive of gerunds, they means just the same. Let's take a look at the two sentences here. I continue working. I continue to work. For most of the time, these two sentences means the same. But there are also some subtle differences when you are using I at gerunds or when you're using to infinitive. When you're using gerund, it suggests that you're referring to something that is real. That is something that is. Really happening. Let's say you eat ice cream every day. So this is an actual action that you're doing. Then you could say, "I like eating ice cream." But when you're using infinitives, it suggests that you're talking about unreal, potential, or possible activities or experiences. That means something that is uh, potentially uh, likely to happen. For example, if you are on a diet, you don't usually eat ice cream. Then, eating ice cream is not something that you do very usually, but it is a potential action. Then you could say, "I like to eat ice cream." You can use infinitive here instead. And there are some verbs that, when you're taking infinitives. The meaning is different when compared to sentences that take gerunds. For example,、uh, the verb "stop." When you're saying "I stopped smoking," that means that、um, you have smoked for a very long time, but you no longer smoke. But for the sentence "I stopped to smoke," that means that at the moment I put down everything that I'm working on. And then I go to smoke. So the two, the meaning of the two sentences are very different when you're taking either gerunds or to infinitives.